So we've been talking about UN reforms for a while now. Talk to our viewers about what those reforms are about and why do we talk about it now? What's its significance? Uh, we have been talking about the uh, UN reforms for decades, and especially in the past uh, two decades. And uh, we, uh, most, uh, more and more countries would like to uh, give a kind of urgency uh, the reform. Actually, there are several aspects to the UN reforms, and different countries certainly ask for different aspects of the reforms and put different um, kind of emphasis on uh, these aspects of the UN reforms. For example, some countries would like to see uh, the UN uh, 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 adapt to the needs of the developing countries. Some other countries would like to see a seat at the United Nations Security Council. So different countries have these the, the different priorities. But generally speaking, for the UN reforms, first, uh, it should improve its efficiency. And it's a vast kind of uh, uh, bureaucracy. Uh, dozens of uh, UN uh, agencies, uh, a lot of funds, and different rules uh, in place. And sometimes people complain about the efficiency of the United Nations. And sometimes it dragging its feet on um, implementation of the agenda set by the UN uh, members and the UN uh, Security Council. And so it has to uh, improve its uh, efficiency. Uh, secondly, uh, it should reform uh, uh, the structure of the United Nations. Of course, uh, uh, some countries like uh, Japan, Germany, India, Brazil, they would like to see the reform of the UN Security Council so that they can have a seat in it. And for China, for example, China said, yes, it should be kind of reformed to the UN uh, Security Council, uh, but uh, the first priority should be more saying a bigger voice for those developing countries. And they should have more representation at the United Nations Security Council. And you know, for China, the United Nations Security Council should not be a club of the rich or the, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, biggest countries. And it should you know, uh, uh, give consideration to the needs of these developing countries. That is a basic position uh, for the Chinese side. So um, they have set up a kind of a working group at the United Nations, and uh, position papers have presented to the United Nations Security Council. So uh, hopefully during this, uh, uh, the current summit, and there will be more discussions uh, on these issues. All right.